Hello Lawn Mowing people. What I'm going to talk to you about today is Lawn Mowing quotes and red flags to look out for when you're taking incoming calls. Now the other day I was talking to a contractor and he told me that his quotes were going nowhere. And after I'd asked a few questions and figured out that it had nothing to do with his standard of work, I started to look at the way that he was answering his phone. And I discovered that he was not asking the right questions. And if you're not asking the right questions, then you have a lack of information. And if you have a lack of information, you have no idea what kind of lawn job you're looking at until you actually get there. And most of the mistakes made when bringing on your new customer all happen in the initial conversation. So let's have a look at this incoming call. Now, of course, you do the normal things. You ask for their address, you ask for their name, their number. But really, the first question you should be asking is, are you looking for a one-off cut or are you looking for a regular visit? Now, I always use the word visit rather than a one-off or a regular cut because some people, I find, tend to get a bit confused because when you say the word regular, they think like at McDonald's when you get a large or a regular or whatever. So sometimes people misunderstand the word regular. So what I do is I say a regular visit so they know that I'm talking about more than one cut. And that gets that miscommunication out of the way to start off with. Now, if they say to me that they want a one-off job, then that gives me the opportunity to tell them about my one-off price. And you can decide whether you have a one-off price or not, but I have a minimum price for one-off work because basically, as I say to the customer, I don't want to be running all the way across town and then find out that I'm quoting on a verge as a one-off job. Now I'm going to go through seven of the red flags that I look for when I'm talking to people with an incoming lawn mowing lead. Now, if I'm talking to a customer and I talk about the regular and the one-off visit, and they originally said they want a one-off visit, but when they find out there's a minimum charge for the one-off visit, all of a sudden they want a regular visit, well, that's a red flag to me because the chances are that they still want a one-off job. They just want a cheaper price. So be aware of that. And what I do, if I am going to accept it, them on face value of being a regular customer, then what I'll do is I'll get them to pay the, for the first couple of cuts up front or something like that, which it will at least get rid of this whole discount thing. Now, red flag number two, they say they want a regular mow, but when you talk to them for a little bit, you find out that they've got a property inspection coming up. Now, if someone lets their grass grow up around their knees and all of a sudden they're having a property inspection and they want someone to come and cut their lawn before the property manager comes around and looks at it, I don't think that they're going to want a regular cut. They just want to cut quickly and they're going to say anything to get you around there and to do that cut. So that's definitely a one-off job. That's The chances of that turning into a regular job are fairly remote. Now, another red flag for us is when a customer contacts us more than one time in the quoting process. So if we say to them, yes, we're going to do a quote, and then we receive another phone call or a text or another form of communication, and then they do it again and again and again, if they've contacted us three times before you even get around there to quote, that, to me, that's a sign of possible problems further down the track and that's not the kind of customer I, I want. I want communication with my customer but I don't want that much communication. So that's another thing to look at. Now another red flag, red flag number four, is a customer that has to be there when you call in. What I normally do is if a customer tells me they need to be there, I'll ask them, is there a specific reason why you need to be there when I call in? And it may be that they've got like a lock gate or they've got a dog or they've got no access to the back garden, all sorts of things. And if that's the case, then that's fine. But what I like to do then is I like to establish that if we're going, if we do end up mowing your lawn, how's this going to work in the future? What kind of agreement or arrangement are we going to make that's going to make that work for both of us? Because I want to get that sorted before I even go around there and look at the job. Now, red flag number five is if a job has to be done at a particular time. If the person's working night shift, then 
Yeah, I could probably stretch and say I could do a job in the morning or I could do a job in the afternoon. But if they're doing the night shift job and their shifts are changing all the time, then there's no way that I'm going to change to swap around the time that I'm coming around to mow the lawn. And the other thing is, is that the, the smallest window I go with is afternoon or morning. I'm not going to get down to a three or a, or, a, or a two hour window. And I tend to find that if if you're trying to work around people who need you there at certain times, it can actually stuff up. You can lose an hour out of your day. I have a job that's, uh, that I do, and I do it, and they like the job to be done after 3.30 in the afternoons. Sometimes when I go out, I'm done by quarter past three, and then what do I do for that other 15 minutes? Do I just hang around until the window of time opens up where I can see where I can go and do this job? The whole thing just becomes awkward. Another thing, this is red flag number six, when the customer goes on and on, in great detail about the problems that they had with their last contractor. I mean, them saying to me, I wasn't happy with my last contractor is fine. And then what I'll say to them is, what is it specifically that your last contractor wasn't doing that you weren't happy with? Because sometimes it turns out to be practically nothing. I had a little old lady once and she wasn't happy with her lawn mowing contractor because he didn't hit one weed that was just growing taller and taller and taller. And the weed wasn't even in the lawn, it was in the garden. And so, but what I did is I looked at it and I thought that's about a minute's worth of work. So what I, the first time I went around there, I did the job, I hit, hit the weed, knocked it over, and then made sure that it didn't grow again. And that was it, that was all I had to do. And if I hadn't asked her what it was that it was annoying her about the old contractor, I never would have found this out. But one thing that you do have to watch out for is if, they start volunteering lots and lots of information about the old contractor. He did this, he did this, he did this, he did this, and they start rubbishing the guy. Well, that's another sign of a customer that you want to avoid because if they're going to do it to him, they're going to do it to you. And who wants to go down that road? The last red flag that I'm going to talk about is the customer that says to you, can I call you when I need you? Yeah, no, that, that is not going to work. That's called a one-off job. That is a job with a minimum charge, and I'll fit it in if I can. It's not a regular job. So, no, nah, we'll, just, we'll just shut the door on that one. So, anyway, those are the seven red flags that I look out for when I'm on the call with a the customer. There's actually uh, a few more that I do when I actually go around to the property, but I'll talk about them in another video. But until then, go out there, have fun, and happy lawn mowing, people.